Final night of the RNC will be underway shortly. Today we hear how the convention is going from one of Oklahoma's delegates. Two Works For You reporter Darcy Jackson is here with a look inside this historical event. Darcy? Well, Brian, if you can imagine watching all of this drama unfold on TV, imagine seeing it all in person. That's Rhonda Smith's perspective. She says following Cruz's speech last night was one for the record books. It's great to be a part of history. Rhonda Smith is representing Tulsa at the RNC. She's had a front row seat for a lifetime of drama in just a few days. We're going to always have differences, but um, in the end, once we have our nominee, it's time for us to come together and get behind our nominee and get him elected. Smith found herself at the RNC after volunteering with her local precinct, an experience she calls one in a million. Throughout the primaries, she's always stuck by one candidate. I supported Cruz. The majority of Oklahoman Republicans did the same. Cruz won the Oklahoma primary back on March 1st. I found his speech last night to be um, probably one of the best ones I've ever heard. I love the, the message about freedom and upholding the Constitution. As for the lack of Trump endorsement. Personally, I never really expected him to endorse Trump. He laid down a, a, a way for Trump to be able to earn the votes of those people that don't necessarily support him. Trump now has Smith's support heading into November. Tonight she's looking forward to seeing the nominee address the crowd and to see how Oklahoma will cast its vote. We believe in our Constitution and we believe in the principles of the Republican Party. Now, Oklahomans across both sides of the aisle will be watching tonight to see not only to see Trump, but to see Governor Mary Fallon. She's scheduled to speak tonight as well. Hear what Smith and the rest of our delegates are hoping to hear from her coming up at 6. Darcy Jackson, two works for you.